anyone can build an app now. You don't have to code, you don't have to be a programmer, and it's all because of AI. And because of this, Google is on fire with the Firebase, but then again, it's Google's AI studio. You've got a lot of models here to explore. Then they've got Notebook. I've got a separate video on it. Then they've got Google's agent space for AI agents. And now they've got this. You can make your app just using the text prompt. And it doesn't have to be a tech savvy prompt. It can be natural language. So you can build the app with your keyboard just with the text and you can sell it. And honestly, you can sell it for a lot of money, just like all these people are going. Now, there's gonna be two ways for this to work. There's two strategies. One is good for short-term success and one is for the longer term. The first one is the one that I don't recommend because I've seen a lot of people make like one, two, five apps and they just sell them. And then afterwards, their credibility just goes down, right? It's not the way you want this to work. I mean, maybe you can if you just want some extra money and then never come back to it later on. But the strategy that I do like is that, first of all, you have to dedicate yourself for a few days or a few weeks in order to understand the whole process. And long term, you're just going to get customers coming back to you over and over again. So what do you have to do? First of all, just Google for Google Firebase. Just go like this, like Firebase, Google, it's gonna be the first result. From here, you can see, firstly, that you can integrate this with Google AI Studio. And of course, you can build apps for the iOS, for Android, web versions, whatever, using all these models here. I'm gonna show you how to build an app with this one, and I'll show you one example of it. First of all, you have to understand that it is gonna be better for you if you have some kind of experience with coding in general. If you don't have it, it's still okay. You're gonna have a bit harder time because the AI is gonna do the work. It is gonna make the app running and all of that, but you still have to correct it. You don't have to code. You don't have to write the code yourself, but you have to guide it, right? You have to guide the AI. Luckily for us, you can do it with the text, with natural language, just like you were talking to your friend, like, oh, hey, fix this, or I want this button to be green instead of red. That's how it goes. So it's not hard, but it is time consuming and you have to be patient with it. So first of all, come over to the website, click on get started button here. Then you'll just have to run through some hoops. You can take a look at the homepage. You can take a look at some of these videos down there, as you can see, it resembles ChatGPT by a lot, and I'll show you the inside of it. But as I've told you, you can integrate this with Gemini, right? Google AI Studio, Gemini, you've heard of it probably. If you haven't heard of it, it's Google's ChatGPT, right? But with a lot more power and options. So from here, just click on try Firebase Studio. Then you have to jump through some hoops, make yourself an account, and this is how it's gonna look like. Here, as you can see, this is what resembles ChatGPT. This is your workspace, and if you're more experienced, you can import your repo from GitHub if you're working with that. If you don't know what that is, just you know do some research on it because you're gonna need it later, even if you're just a beginner. Then you can choose the app that's gonna run your code. So for example, there's Python, there's Java, there's you know many of these. I'm gonna recommend something with Flutter later on because I saw some people doing some really great work with it. And here is the place for your prompts, right? So for example, an app that helps me plan my day, an app that generates poems from photos, an app that creates recipes from photos, right? There's more example prompts here. So recipe generator, tipping calculator, whatever. So let's just go an app that creates recipes from photos. This is where you will get the prototype. Click on it and then just wait for it. Simple prompt, whatever you have in mind or your customer has in mind because nowadays everyone needs an app. Every company, even your local flower shops, they need an app. They wanna automate things. They want their customer to come to pick a flower, to deliver the flowers to their doorstep and it's just the way it works. It's the future. This is why you can do it now because there's huge demand for it. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs it, all right? Everybody. That's why it opens up a lot of new opportunities for people. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, we can just make some money. Now, when you deal with the prompt, 
they're going to give you the blueprint. This is where you will see the features of the app, such as ingredient identification. So it's going to analyze uploaded image using AI to identify ingredients. Then it's going to give you the recipe suggestion, display, image upload. So this is where users will be able to upload photos. And here you choose the style guidelines, right? This is going to be on your customer, right? They will choose the colors. They will choose the layouts. They will choose typography. They will choose animations. All you have to do is to talk to people, get their wishes, put it here into Firebase, and then just click on prototype this app. And Firebase, it's going to do the work. You can watch it real time. And this is what's so cool about it. It's the best part for me. You get to watch it in real time as it's developing the code, right? And when it's done, well, just enjoy the result. I told you, anyone can build apps now. The thing is, you got to choose whether you want to do it fast or you want to do it smart. So here's the prototype. You upload the ingredients here. So that's where the client is going to put in the picture. For example, you can put in some pancakes, whatever you want. And then when the app is ready, you can't do it here in the developer face. They will just identify ingredients, which is in that picture. And then it'll suggest you some recipes based on it. Now you will need to integrate this with Gemini because it's going to cost you these credits when you just develop this with API. So you basically have to connect it and then you will be able to see your app in action. Speaking of which, build apps on Fiverr only. There's huge demand, as I've told you. You can learn and see that there's a huge demand for it because you can watch the prices. The prices for apps are crazy, all right? I recommend going with the Flutter one because honestly, the prices are gonna be lower, such as $400 for the app. As you can see, seven day delivery, this person has been doing it, but this is a good way to develop your Fiverr gig. And that's why, you know, you see most of these people doing it, but because there is a huge demand and not a lot of results, so there's not a lot of competition. Well, this allows for these prices to be so big. So this is the golden time for anyone who wants to, you know, just put themselves into this. But in all honesty, you can't depend on Fiverr only because, well, you just depend on the people that are going to come to Fiverr. You have to showcase your work somewhere. Use social media. Use your own website. You can just build yourself a website with Firebase, right? And then just showcase your work on these platforms. It's not hard. You know, you just showcase the app, you record your app, or you take some snapshots, some pictures, and you post on a regular basis on your account. And then you're just going to see people coming back to you. It's not going to be you reaching out for the clients. When they see the work, they will come to you. All right. It's maybe the best way to do this is to use X or Twitter, however you want to call it, because usually that's the place for these kind of things. And it has a lot of traffic. You know, Twitter is crazy. And then just make something like this, you know, make and showcase your work. A lot of people are going to see it and be sure to offer, you know, many different apps there because there's going to be a lot of different people there, a lot of different companies that need different things. So just showcase your work, get to it, build and practice. All right. Just build and practice, watch tutorials, but don't just watch tutorials, build with it. All right. Just build with it all the time. Start your projects, finish your projects and just showcase them to the world. That is the way to success. And don't go for the easy money strategy. Just build something from scratch to last you for a lifetime, right? So that's the key point here. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.